you, Adonai. And we worship you, Yahweh. Adonai. And we worship you, Yahweh. Adonai. Oh, and we worship you, Papa. Adonai. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus for another Sunday God has given to us to glorify him, to be in his presence. Happy Sunday to everyone. Today is the 20th of August. So far, we are about to finish the, the month of August by his grace. So we are going to thank him. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 100, verse 1 to 5 say, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, the Lord, he is God. He is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the, the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth enjoys to all generation. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. We are going to start from our opening prayer. Therefore, we are going to invite Evangelist John for, for the opening prayer. May the Lord bless you as you come over to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for today. Today is another beautiful day, the day the Lord has made for us to be glad and rejoice in it. I thank God for all of us, hallelujah. We thank God for our brethren, those that just join and those that are to, are to join. We want to thank God for their life. I will pray that as they join us, may there be a blessing to us as they will receive their own blessing as well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're going to say the word of prayer. Father God, I thank you for today. I thank you for our lives. I thank you for this ministry. Thank you for this period. I thank you for this hour. I thank you for this program. Thank you because you are the leader of this meeting. Thank you, Father, for what all you can do. Thank you, my rock and my king, for being great, for being mighty and being faithful. Father, we commit a day to you. We pray the O Lord God Almighty that may you take total control in everything we are about to do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you all the praise and adoration. Glory, power belong to you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I'm going to read the Bible in the book of Psalms, chapter 150. He said, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the phenomenon of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psalm tree and harp. Praise him with the timber and dance. Praise him with string, instrument, and organ. Praise him upon the loud cymbal. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbal. Let everything that had the breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. With my whole heart. With my whole heart. I will praise the Lord. Blessed people. Praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart. With my whole heart, I will praise the Lord. Blessed people, praise the Lord. The most excellent is Jesus. Shout hallelujah, amen. The most excellent is Jesus, a savior. Shout hallelujah, amen. The most excellent. Shout hallelujah, amen. The most excellent is Jesus. Shout hallelujah, amen. Amen, hallelujah, amen. Amen, hallelujah, amen. Amen, hallelujah, 
Amen, Alléluia, Amen. Amen, Alléluia, Amen. Amen, Alléluia, Amen. Jesus, the King of Kings, Amen, Alléluia, Amen. Jesus, the Lord of Lords, Amen, Alléluia. The Alpha and Omega, Amen, Alléluia. The Sharon of Roses, Amen, Alléluia. The Lily of the Valley, Amen, Alléluia, Amen. Amen, Alléluia. Amen, Alléluia, Amen. Amen, Alléluia, Amen, Alléluia, Amen. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Maker. Wherever I am now, it is by your grace. Many are dying and others are perishing. Wherever we are now, it is by your grace. Thank you. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Redeemer. Wherever we are now, Lord, it is by your grace. Many are dying and others are perishing. Wherever we are now, it is by your grace. Wherever we are now, it is by your grace. Lord, wherever we are now, it is by your grace. Wherever we do now, it is by your grace. It's a miracle working God. It's a miracle working Father. It's an Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle working God. It's a miracle working God. Hallelujah. It's a miracle working Jehovah. He's Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle working God. It's a miracle working God. It's a miracle working Redeemer. He's an Alpha and Omega. It's a miracle working God. Hiya, hiya. Haya, Lord, that is your name. We lift you higher, higher. Haya, haya, that is your name. We praise your name, praise your name, praise your name. Father, we honor you, we honor you, we honor you. Oh Lord, we give you praise, we give you praise, give you praise, we give you praise. Oh Lord, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Father, we praise you. We praise you, we praise you. Be still, I know that I am God. Be still, I know that I am God. Be still, I know that I am God. I am the Lord. That he led thee. I am the Lord that he led thee. Be still, I know that I am God. Oh, exhort him above all the gods. I know that man, the man of Calvary, exhort him. Above all the name, his name is Jesus, his name is Lord. Exhort him above all the name. I know that man, the man of Calvary, exhort him above all the name. His name is Jesus, his name is Lord. I will lift your name. I will lift your name higher. I will lift your name higher above all the name. I will leave your name higher. I will leave your name higher. I will leave your name higher above all the gods. I will leave your name higher. I will leave your name higher. Oh, Jehovah, man, above all the Name, I will lift your name higher. I will lift your name higher. I will lift your name higher. Above all the gold. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is a mighty God. He's a faithful God. He's a glorious God. He's the I am that I am. He is worthy to be lifted. He is worthy to be called God. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is mighty. He is faithful. There is no God like him. Let us begin, begin to lift up the name of the Lord. Let us begin to lift up the name of the King. My Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we lift your name. the God of Abraham, the God of let us go before the throne of grace and mercy and ask God for mercy as the Bible tells us that the prayer of a sinner is an abomination in the eyes of the Lord. Let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty. Amen. 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 Amen.
ourselves with the from the filthiness of the flesh and the filthiness of the spirit. Let me quickly just read the scripture for all of us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Second Corinthians chapter seven, verse one. He said, having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. We are going to use the blood of Jesus to cleanse ourselves from any form of filthiness, any filthiness of the flesh and any filthiness of the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. God, let us pray. My I Father, pray. my God, oh Lord, Lord, my heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, and I use your precious blood of just my cleanse me, Lord, the filthiness of the flesh and the spirit of my sick of place and the push me, oh Lord, with your precious blood, cleanse me, your precious blood, Father, have mercy, and that mighty God, and wash me, your precious blood, in the name of Jesus, my Father, please, that your mighty God, wash my husband, your precious blood, wash my children, your precious blood, Father, my son, Lord, Father, in any way that you ask me, Father, for your soul, Lord, cleanse us with your blood, Lord, and I plead the blood of just now, my husband, plead the blood of just now, my self, oh Lord, and plead the blood of just now, my son, Lord, my son, Lord, Father, to be, oh Lord, my granddaughter, my grandfather, plead the blood of just now, son, oh Lord, oh Lord, my father, oh Lord, my God, I plead the blood of just now, the Lord, the church of God, I plead the blood of just now, this ministry, the faith, the father, the father, the this ministry, oh Lord, and I will thank you for the blood of just now, I plead the blood of just now, the elder, the land, the son that they say we play the best game that we can in the second time we try and the son in the name of the son of Jesus. Hallelujah! Let us welcome the Holy Spirit and hand over the service unto Him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father, Holy Spirit of God, we cannot do without you. Come and have your way. Now, missing any major. Holy Spirit of God, we love you. Holy Spirit of God, we depend on you. Holy Spirit of God, you are our teacher, our comfort, our helper. Without you, we can do nothing. Zero. Come and have your way. Now, lies all over this week, O God. Come and walk with us in the name of the Holy Spirit of God. Come and teach us, O Lord, and help us to worship our Father in the Spirit and the truth today. Holy Spirit of God, please, as you help each and every one of us, O Lord. Holy Spirit of God, we need you. We need your help, O Lord. Help us, O Lord, to hear God on the, the, the word of the Lord that comes for us. Help us, Almighty God, to understand the word of the Lord, Holy Spirit of God. To the word of God in our hearts, Holy Spirit of God. Bring us back to Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, please, and help us. And that's all. Restore them back to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to Amen. continue to pray. We are now going to cover ourselves with all the armor of God. As it is said that we raise not against flesh and blood, but against principality and power. Let us now cover ourselves with all the armor of God from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's pray. Father, Lord, 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 the King of kings, the Lord of Lord, the ancients of days, Almighty God. And I will cover ourselves with the whole armor of God, Almighty God. I cover myself with the blood of the whole God. I cover my husband with the whole armor of God, Father. I cover my children and my granddaughter, Father. Father, play a cover and also the who among God, Father. Oh Lord Jesus, I cover my house, I cover my home. Only who among God, I shall have my take of Father. When to be with the who among God, Father, my Lord, I cover my family members, oh Lord, every member of this ministry. And I will cover ourselves with the who among God, oh Lord. And the mighty God, I put service to my God, the service with the who among God. And then the message with the who among God, the name of the Father, my Lord. Praise you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, we still praying. We are now going to take authority over any power of darkness wherever they are gathered today to, 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 to frustrate the children of God, the church of God. We take authority over them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father God, oh, Lord, my Lord, heavenly Father, Lord, 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 Lord,
my God, we commit to sit down that will deliver your word today, mighty God. My Lord, cover your servant with your precious blood of Jesus and the mercy with your precious blood of Jesus, my Father. And I choose your servant, my dear Lord, for I have the word of my own. And I put your word in my mind to Lord, and I will be a fresh Lord to deliver your word, almighty God. I will be able to deliver your word, almighty God. Put your word in my mind, put your word in my spirit, my soul, in my mind to my Father. Let your words are open my mind, let your word flow out to my God. And we bring transformation to your son, to your dear Father. Oh, my dear God, hear me in the grace of God, not my fresh Lord, and don't use me for this. I never have to follow in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going now to pray that the messenger, the servant of the Lord that the Lord has chosen to give, to bless us today, to feed us today with the spiritual meal. As whatever the Lord has given to her, let her deliver it fully. We pray against any form of distraction, forsation in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father God, oh my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, Father, and cover your servant with your precious blood of Jesus Christ, cover me with the blood of Jesus Christ, my area, my family, my church, with your precious blood of Jesus Christ, my Father, cover the message that you have given me to the blood of Jesus Christ, your precious blood of Jesus Christ, and I know my voice will go. Glory. We want to thank you for today again. We thank you for this opportunity given unto us. We thank you, Lord, for the death that cannot praise you, O Lord God Almighty. We thank you, Lord God, even as we are going to pray our worship. We pray that may you glorify yourself, O mighty Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, we declare this service open in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, Mama. Bless in Jesus' name. We are still in our service now that you start to finish the opening prayer. We are going to welcome our brethren, the youth in Cameroon, for praise and worship. May the Lord help us and increase us with some fresh anointing to worship Him in the spirit and truth and also in the beauty of holiness. So I welcome the youth in Cameroon for the praise and worship. Over to you. Amen. Just a few minutes, please. Hallelujah. Our youth are here. Praise God. Praise the Lord. It is another moment again for us to sing praise and worship. Amen. Amen. Give glory to the Lord. Be ready. Give glory to the Lord. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. No. We give glory to the Lord, we give glory, we give glory to the Lord, to the Lord, we give glory to the Lord, we give glory to Mm-hmm. 
May the Lord help them with connection in Jesus' name. Ah. You are the Lord of all the things you bring. You never share your glory with anyone. You never share your glory to anybody. Almighty oh, God, that is your name. Hey. The Lord help this connection. Me that I'm strong to sing. Ah, anybody help me with singing as we are waiting for our brethren to join? Any good singer here? <laughs> Mommy Fisher. <laughs> Any song as we are waiting? The Lord bless you. Yeah, bless the name of the Lord. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with any more. Oh, you will never share your glory with anybody. Oh, Almighty God, oh, that is your name. You are the Lord, so that is your name. Oh, you will never share your glory with any more. Oh, you will never share your glory with anybody. Oh, Almighty God, so that is your Name, you are the Lord, so that is your name, Lord. You, you will never share your glory with anyone. We never share your glory with anybody. Oh, Almighty, God. Oh, that is your name. Oh, you are the Lord, so that is your name, Lord. Oh, you will never share your glory with anyone. Oh, you will never share your glory with anybody. Oh, Almighty. Oh, that is your name. From east to west, no other God. From north to south, I say there is no other God. From east to west, no other God. 
from north to south, I say there is no other God. Oh, from east to west, no other God. To south, I say there is no other God. From east to west, no other God. From north to south, I say there is no other God. Oh, from east to west, no other God. From north to south, I say there is no other God. Oh, from east to west, no other God. From to south, I say there is no other God. Oh, from east to west, no other God. From north to south, I say there is no other God. Oh, from east to west. No other God. South, I say there is no other God. Oh, from east to west, no other God. To south, I say there is no other God. Oh, from east to west, no other God. From north to south, I say there is no other God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. God bless you, Mami Fisher. God, God bless you. Thank God our brethren, they are here. Thank God. Hallelujah.
What a mighty God we serve! What a mighty God we serve! Hallelujah! You are God. Angels bow before you. What a mighty God we serve! You are God. What's wrong with you? Only see which no club you pass. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him, ancient bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. What a faithful God. What a faithful God we serve. Heaven and earth, heaven and earth adore him. Angels from before you, what a mighty God we serve. What a faithful God, what a faithful God we serve. What a wondrous God, what a wondrous God we serve. Heaven and earth, heaven and earth adore you. Angels from before you. What a mighty God we serve. You are Yahweh. 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 
Amen. God bless you, our youth in Cameroon. I'm going to welcome Evangelist Jean for the hymn. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you, my sister. The title of our hymn is Walk with Me. Walk with me, listen and be blessed in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Walk with me, walk with me. Let my eyes no longer see all the glory, all the story of your life. Talk to me, talk to me, let you spoke so tenderly where you walk there, where you walk there by the sea. Let me fall in your footsteps. Uh, that trust the song of Galilee. Teach me, Lord, to pray as you did in the garden of Gethsemane. Take my hands, take my hands, and teach me, Lord, to understand all the duty of the beauty of your law. Oh, oh, oh. Talk to me, talk to me. Let my ear no longer hear all the wonders, all the beauty. 
of your name. Let me follow in your footsteps. That was the song of God. Teach me, Lord, to pray as you did in the garden of Jesse. Take my hand, take my hands, teach me, Lord, to understand all the duty, all the beauty of your love. Oh, talk to me, talk to me, let my ear no longer hear all the wonders, all the beauty of your name. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you for the hymn. More grace in Jesus' name. I'm going to call for the Bible reading. Our sister destiny, I call you for the Bible reading. May the Lord bless you. Sister Destiny, are you there? Uh, we are waiting for our Sister Destiny to read the Bible. I believe she's having some challenge to connect. Let us give her some few seconds. Sister Destiny, are you ready? Can you unmute yourself because we can't hear you? Let us give us some few seconds, please. Hallelujah. I read in Jesus' name, Psalm chapter 98, verse 1 to 9. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. The Lord hath made known his salvation. His righteous hath opened shrewd, has opened, hath he openly shrewd in the sight of the heathen. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm, with trumpets and sound of cornets, make a joyful noise before the Lord, the King. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell wherein. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills be joyful together. Before the Lord, he, he cometh to judge the earth. With righteousness shall he judge the, the world and the people with equity. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, Sister Destiny, for the Bible reading. May the Lord increase you more and more. Amen. So we are going for our um, testimony. Testimony time. Blessing time. Anyone with testimony? Any testimony so far? 
Hallelujah. No testimony. We thank God for every good thing that is doing our life. We are alive. We are here in the presence of God. We are alive. We thank God for the brief of life that has granted each one of us for divine protection, for providing for us the thing that we need for the day. So we thank God for his grace in our life. This is the greater testimony that you cover all of us. All of us were in the midst of among the living. Some people travel, they came safely. So we thank God for their life, for divine protection. So we thank God. Any testimony, if not, we move on in the next session of welcoming all the members. We welcome you all that are watching us online, those that are going to listen to us later, come across to this video, to this message. May the Lord bless you. Welcome to listen to our videos, the message that God is giving through this ministry. May the Lord bless you all. I welcome those that on Zoom, Pastor James, Evangelist Jean, Evangelist Fisher, Sister Regine, Sister Testimony, Brother Samuel, Brother Jason, all our sister, the youth in Cameroon, God bless you all. And Sister Destiny, also God bless you. Hallelujah. So we are going now to the most important section, which is in the word of God. The Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone. But every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, this is the reason why we are here, to hear the message God has for us. So we are going, before we listen to the word of God, we first of all going to prepare ourselves, because it's not just to receive the word of God, but also to hear the word of God, sorry, but also to receive it. And by receiving it, we allow it to transform our life. Hallelujah. So we are going to prepare ourselves. Also, the messenger always gets arrow, gets attacked. Because sometimes the part that is more important for you is the one that the enemy will make the messenger to forget. And we are going to pray. Go to protect her, to cover her with the anointing or protection that whatever God has given to her, is for us to receive it. It's not for the enemy to steal it. So we are going to recover it, to receive it the way God has given it to her. So we are going to also pray ourselves to prepare our hearts as we are going to hear the word of God. You will not be the hearer only, but also to be the doer of it. And for us to do be, to be the doer of it, we have to receive it with joy, accept this word to transform. So we are going to pray for ourselves and also for the messenger of God in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we commit to Lord Jesus, Father, your servant, whom you use, oh, Father, to come and deliver this message to us. Mm-hmm. Father, we pray, oh Lord Jesus, mm-hmm. for so Father, you, you use our mind, oh Lord, Father, put the word in our mouth, the one that you know, oh Lord, Father, according to our heart, mm-hmm. you know each one of us, the reason why we are here, what we are going through. Mm-hmm. Father, talk to us, oh Lord, Father, through your servant in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Father, as we are going to hear this message, oh Lord, Father, let the message, oh Lord, Father, bring transformation in our life. Make us to be the hearer of it and also the doer of it in the mighty name of Jesus. That the truth that we know, the truth that we, the word that we hear, is the one that, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, to lead us, O oh Lord, in the path of holiness and righteousness, O oh Lord. To lead us, O oh Lord, Father, to see, O oh Lord, Father, the finish line and to cross over in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover yourself, O oh Lord, Father, with the blood of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, as you come and take over in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. I'm going to welcome the servant of God, the one that goes. God, has, the one that God has chosen to be the one to deliver the message of today, I welcome you, Evangelist Fisher. Over to you. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you, man. In Jesus' name, we thank God for God for today. We bless His holy name in Jesus' name. Please, I would like to have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of all the Asians of this. And I'm going to thank you for each and every one of us, oh Lord. I thank you for this moment. I thank you for this hour. Thank you for this service, oh my God. Oh Lord, my name, almighty God, the Father, please, oh my God, let your name be glorified, be glorified, mighty God, right now in this service in the name of your Father. Put your word in my mouth, oh Lord. And I anoint my voice, anoint my lips, oh my God. I have the word of my own. Oh Lord, my Father, my Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit that will deliver all the words that you 
want us to hear, Father. And I'm please don't know, my Father. Heavenly Father, as we are hearing your word, Father, give us the grace to put it in practice in Jesus' name. And I go come and have your will, Lord. Oh, Lord, I soak my mind in your precious blood. I soak my heart, my spirit, my soul in your precious blood. Just like and each and every one of us here in the name of John, the one that is less in the name of your Father. And I will take authority over every power that want to distract us, that want to, to steal your word away from us. So my God, we come against those powers in the name of Jesus Christ. And I come and have your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. I give you all the glory, all the honor, and the praise in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Please, I would like to sing to the glory of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Adonai, we worship you, Son of God, you are so good, oh, almighty God, hallowed be the name, your dominion. Is forever more, forever more. I do not. I worship you, Lord, Son of God. You are so good, oh, Almighty God. Hello, be the name. Your dominion is forever more, forever more. I do we worship you, Son of God. You are so good, oh Almighty God. Hello be the name. Your dominion is forever most forever more. And we worship you, Son of God. You are so good, oh Almighty God. Hello be the name, your dominion is forevermore. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. We thank God for God, our Father, our Savior, our Redeemer. Oh, I thank God. Yeah. <laughs> I am so privileged. Yeah. <laughs> to sit sit uh, sit right now at the feet of our lord jesus christ to deliver the word of god to you and now with a uh, thank god for each and every one of us may the lord speak to us in the name of jesus christ we bless the name of the lord we thank god for this sunday we bless his holy name in jesus name. so the word of god uh, almighty god has put in my in my spirit in my mind to come and deliver to you and to me uh, the, the topic is, I fear the people. I fear the people. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I don't know the stage you are now. We are. I don't know where you are now. We are right now. Some of us, maybe we're in this stage that right now that we, we want to make, that we want to take decision, but because of human being, because of somebody, because of people, we are afraid to take that decision, the right decision. The right decision to do the work, the work of the Lord. The right decision to listen and obey the word of Almighty God, to obey Almighty God. Because of the fear, oh, this person will do this for me, to, to, to me, this person will do this, this one thing, you know, you know, the enemy of your soul, my soul, tensing many things, sending many, many thoughts to your heart, to your mind, for you to be thinking, if I do, if I'm, if I'm taking this, this decision, this decision that I want to take for the Lord, ah, uh, there's something bad will happen. Oh, there's something, oh, maybe I will not have favor. Maybe this person will not favor me anymore. Maybe this person will not talk to me anymore. Maybe this person, they will give me name. Maybe I will have this name and we have this. I don't know. Many things, negative, negative, negative thoughts start coming in your mind. They start coming in your mind for you what? To disobey Almighty God. And you know, this is the voice of the Lord that's speaking to you. You heard it quite all right. He spoke to you. You know, this is God speaking to me. 
but for you to do the well that war that 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 war that he has spoken to you is a battle is a battle in your mind the battle is taking no it taking on in your mind because the battle the battle is in the mind so if you are not are defeated in our mind the battle is already been won by the enemy so if you and I have won in our mind, we have won the battle. So the enemy, he lost already, lose already, and he will continue to be losing. Praise Master Jesus. So as, at any time you and I, we know this is the will of God for me to do. This is the will of God for me and my family. If I take this decision, it will be good for me in future. If I take to do the will of the Lord, it will be good for me in, in, in future. But when those negative things come in, you are afraid. You fear people. You fear maybe they will reject me. Oh, if I obey the, the, if I obey God in the in my working place, maybe they will sack me. Maybe they will they will they will tell me no. There's no work for you anymore because you have make this this uh, this uh, you are take uh, this uh, right. You are take this uh, this uh, decision right now. We don't want you in our company anymore. So you are afraid of those things. You are afraid for the, or the limitation that the enemy wants to bring. Do we think this is the, if I take this thing? Limitation will come. Oh, the, the fear of, oh, if I do this, oh, if I do this. But you and I must take the step of faith to obey our Father, Almighty God. Because when he, when he spoke to you, he knows the best for you. He knows what is good for you. And Almighty God is the God that rewards his children. Is a rewarder for them that, 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 that obeyed him. It, that is why he said in his word that I will honor those who that honor me. So you are not, you are not, you want, you want God to honor you. I want God to honor me. Praise Master Jesus. So we are going to read the word of the Lord concerning what God has spoken to the servant of God. The king, the first king in Israel. God spoke to him to go and do so, 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 so thing. And the, and the servant of God told him, the prophets of God told him, go and do. This is what God said you should go and do. So instead of him to obey God, because he feared the people, he feared man, because of that, he disobeyed God. And it's not the man, it's not the man that if he, he was afraid that sent him to this uh, era. It was not them that uh, told him, go and fight this battle for me. This battle belongs to God. As he sent you to go and fight this battle for him, you take the, the people and you go there, you do the will of God. What is it said you should do, you do it. No, because of the fear of man, he disobeyed what God said he should go and do. And he did what he did, and he said he did the will of God. It might be you are out there. God has called you in so, so, so thing, in something to do for him, but you are doing your own way. You are doing your own way. You are taking your own decision. You are telling, you are telling God, Father, I'm doing your own way. Father, why this, the way this thing is not working for me? Father, why this thing is not working for me? I'm doing your own way. Really, are you doing the will of God? Have you really sat down at the feet of Jesus and asked him, Papa, what I'm doing right now, is it your way? Am I doing the right thing? And Father God, we explain to you, God, Father God, we thought to you, because he will know to bless what you are doing that is not him that asked you to do it. He will bless what he asked you to do. He will support you when he said, go do this. You are doing it. He will support you. So if you are not having support from the from almighty God, you and I, we should not complain. Because it's, 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 like, it's, it's like you send your, your child an, an error. So when you send your child an error to go and so, 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 so thing, go and do it for me. So if that child refused to do that thing, 
Are you all the thing is harder for that child to do right now? Are you going to support that child because the things are hard for the child to do? Because you you will not support that child. Even though that child is struggling to do what he, that child is doing, but because you and you didn't send that child, you will not support that child. You will not support that child. That child will know that my daddy is not even careful of what I'm doing right now. My mommy don't even be support me. Let me go and ask, Father or oh, Mommy, why you don't help me out? Then the daddy. All the mommy will say, I didn't send you. You are doing by yourself. I'm just looking at you. Let me see how you will work it out. How it will work for you. Praise Master Jesus. Please, I would like us to turn to the book of uh, 1 Samuel 15. Chapter, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 1 to 24. And then verse 30. Praise Master Jesus. Please, if you have your Bible with you. Please open your Bible to 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 1 to 24 and 30. The book of 1 Samuel 15, chapter 15, verse 1 to 20, 24. Hallelujah and 30. I read in Jesus' name. Samuel also said unto Ne, so the Lord sent me to Ne, anointed thee to Ne, being a king over his people, over Ne Israel. Now, therefore, Ne, hearken thou unto Ne, the voice of the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord of a host, I remember that which an Amalek did to Israel, how he lay in wait for him in the, the way, when he came up from Egypt. Now go and smite Amalek and, and utterly destroy all, the, all that they have. And then they spend them and not, but a slain, but, but, but a slain, but a man and a woman. Infant and a suckling ox and a sheep a camel and a ass. And a, son, and, and a son gathered the people together and a numbered them in a, in a ten, tell them, ten, two and a hundred thousand footmen and ten thousand men of a Judah. And a son came to a city of a of, of uh, the Amalek, and they lay the waiter in uh, the valley. And the son uh, said unto the, 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 the kid, kidnapped, Go, depart uh, yet uh, you, down from uh, among uh, the Amalek, Amalekites. Lest uh, I destroy the uh, union uh, with uh, them. For the uh, Yin uh, showed uh, kindness uh, to uh, all the children of Israel when uh, they uh, came uh, up uh, out of uh, uh, Egypt. So uh, the the Canaan Canaan I the Kenneth departed from uh, among uh, the Amalekites, and the son uh, smounted the Amalekites from uh, them. From an have from from the Havila until until thou cometh to Nesu, that is over against Egypt, and he verse eight, and he took an Ega, the, the, the king of the Amalekites, alive, and they utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. But they saw and the people spent Ega and the and the and the best of the sheep and of the oxen and of the fatling and the lambs and all that was in the good. And they wounded not and utterly destroyed them, but everything that that was in a what a vile and they refused that then destroyed utterly. Hmm. Verse 10. Then I came at the word of the Lord unto Samuel, saying, It and a repentant mean that I have an asset up a soul to be a king, for he is a turn back from following me, and has not performed my commandments. And it and a grief somewhere, and he cried unto the Lord all night. 12. And when 
And then when the sun when the rose early to the meet a saw in the, the morning, it was a tone somewhere saying the son came to the come and then behold, he ne set him up a place and is then gone about and the Passed them on and gone and gone down to the Giga and uh, thirteen and the sun when they came to the soul and the sun is said unto him, Blessed be the thou of the Lord. I have the performed the <laughs> I have performed the commandment of the Lord. And someone said, What a minute then this and the breathing of the sheep in the, my ears. And the Lord of the oxen which I hear. And the soul said, they haven't brought them from a from uh, the Amalekites, from uh, the people in uh, Spain, uh, the best of uh, their sheep and uh, of uh, the ocean to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God. And uh, the rest we uh, have an uh, utterly destroyed. 16. Then uh, Samuel said unto the soul, Stay, stay, and I will attend thee what the Lord has uh, said to me. Said to me this and the night, and he ne said unto him, say on seventeen. And uh, someone said, when uh, thou was a little in uh, thy own uh, sight, was uh, thou not and uh, made uh, the head of uh, the tribes of uh, Israel? And uh, the Lord anointed thee a uh, king over uh, Israel. Eighteen. And uh, the Lord sent a uh, dean on a on the on the journey, and uh, said, uh, go and uh, utterly destroy the sinners. Uh, the sin of the Amalekites and the fight against them until they then being and they consume. Therefore, we are found. Then they did the thou not and they obey the voice of the Lord, but and they did the fly upon a death war and they did the evil in the sight of the Lord. And then the sword said unto Samuel, yea, I have uh, obeyed uh, the voice of uh, the Lord, and I uh, have uh, gone uh, the way which uh, the Lord uh, sent uh, me, and I uh, have uh, brought uh, uh, the king of uh, Amalek, 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 and then uh, have uh, utterly destroyed the Amalekites. But uh, the people uh, took uh, of uh, the sword, sheep and the uh, oxen, the chief and uh, of uh, the things which uh, should uh, have uh, been, uh, been utterly destroyed to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God in a giga. And the Samuel said, as the, the Lord, as the Lord, as a great as the Lord has a greater delight in a bunch of offerings and the sacrifice, as a, in a, obe, obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than a sacrifice, sacrifice, and to hacking to, to hacking then the the fat of uh, the rams. For the rebellion is uh, as uh, the sin of uh, the witchcraft, and the stubbornness is uh, as an uh, iniquity and the uh, idolatry. Be because uh, thou has uh, rejected the, the the word of uh, the Lord, He has uh, also rejected thee from uh, being a king. Twenty uh, four, and the and the Lord said unto unto the Samuel. I have a sin, for I have a transgressed the commandment of the Lord and the, and the thy, thy words, because I fear the people and they obeyed their voice. Verse 30. Then the heathen said, I have a sin, yet honor me. Now I pray that then before the elders of my, pe my people and before Israel and turn again with me that I may worship the Lord thy God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. So, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You and I, we, we, hear, we can hear the word of the Lord. The first king in Israel. So, Father God sent him to go and fight the battle for him. So, Father, as Father God said, go. Go and uh, complete, uh, completely destroy, the, completely destroy the Amalekites. Completely destroy them. It didn't say spare one of them. 
He said, completely destroy the men, the women, the children, and the, uh, ch children, babies, the sucklings. Destroy them, the cattle, so the sheep, the goats, the camel, and the donkey. Destroy everything. So he said, yes. He had, he have, he have heard it. Then he went and he did his own thing. He went and he did his own thing. He didn't listen to Father God that sent him. So because of that, he said he wants to make, he wants to make a sacrifice. He wants to do a sacrifice, offer a burnt offering and sacrifice to the Lord. Are you there, Father God? Is telling you, my son, my daughter, I want you to do this for me. But you are refusing to do the will of God. But you are bringing sacrifice. You are bringing offerings. You are bringing the tithe to the house of God. And you know, you, you know yourself quite all right. If this is not what God wants from me. But you, you are thinking you can buy Father God favor by you and I right now. We are doing what, what he didn't say. But you and I, we are bringing offering, bringing tithe to the house of God. So it doesn't matter, even though he said, I should do this. And even though I don't do it, I am bringing offering, I am bringing time. It doesn't matter, I am buying favor. You and I, we cannot buy favor from our Lord without doing obedience to him. Obedience is the key for you and I to have favor from the Lord. For God to favor you, for God to favor me, we need the obedience, we must obey him. Obedience is the key. Praise Master Jesus. So as Father God said, go and completely destroy, utterly destroy those people. So he went, he did his own thing. He destroyed some and he saved the king. He kept the king of Amalekah. He kept the king and brought the king of Amalekah to Israel. Can you imagine? The enemy of God, the enemy of Israel. Now you brought the head of them. <laughs> Excuse me. You brought the head of them to your own house, your enemy. Praise Master Jesus. Your enemy, now you brought them to your house. It's like for you and I. Father God said, This is an abomination to me. But you are going ahead, you are taking that thing, you are putting that thing on your, on your body. You are saying, Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. He said, It's an abomination, it's an abomination. These people have heard, these people did evil. Let go and destroy those sinners. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. As he says, he yes, said, they destroy. You know, in the verse, praise Master Jesus. In verse nine, in verse nine, in verse nine, he said, then they destroy what was there. They would destroy what was worthless. What was one like then he knows that this thing you cannot do, you know, it was nothing. It's what they destroyed. The best of it, he took them. The one I know this is worthless. Let me let me destroy this one. Then I can tell him I did what he sent me. I did what you sent me. The poor one that in the, 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 the poor, poor the, the poor quality. The best one, he selected them out. He selected them out and he stayed to the, the servant of God, Samuel, the, 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 the prophet, Prophet Samuel. He told Prophet Samuel, ah, because I will want to use it to do burnt, and burnt offering and sacrifice to the Lord. To which Lord? Lord that you are not obeying. You want to do sacrifice for him? You want to do sacrifice for the Lord that you disobey? So how is he your Lord? Like you and I, if you and I oh, disobey God, we said he's our Lord. And no, he's not our Lord. If the Lord is your Lord, if the Lord is my Lord, we must obey him. I cannot say God is my God. He said, this is the abomination to me, my daughter. I said it doesn't matter. We still continue doing this. That is your own. But you are my you are my God. Praise Master Jesus. And God regrets. 
go regret of choosing uh, this uh, the, 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 the soul to be a king. It is my prayer. God will not regret. He will not regret over you. He will not regret over me or fear creating you or fear creating me. It is my prayer that he will look at you, he will look at me, he will see, he will say, this is my daughter, this is my son, he's doing what is pleasing me, I am proud of her, I am proud of him. As he did to, to Brad Job, Brad Job was not the one that was proud of his head. Brad Job is, was not the one that telling the Satan, no, you can see me, I live for Jesus, you can see me, I live for Father God. No, Brad Job, nothing. Brad Job just obey Father God. So God now, proud of Brad Job, telling Satan, have you seen my son? Have you seen him? The enemy of our soul, the enemy of a job. The enemy of our soul, the enemy of Job. Told the father guy, here, I saw him. Because you have built a protect, protection, had of, had of protection around him. I cannot do anything against him because your protection is around him and his family and his, uh, and his household, all his properties. Praise Master Jesus. Because when you and I obey Father God, He will build the edge, hedge of protection around you and I. He will be proud of you to, the, to your enemy, to my enemy, the devil, our enemies. Praise Master Jesus. But when you be a, 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 a disobedient child, you think He will be proud of you? He loves you 100%. That is God. But to be proud of you, it's his child. No. Until you come to the, to, until you come to him, you say, yes, really, Father, you are my God. You are my Lord. I will obey you. What you said I should do, I will do it, Father God. Praise Master Jesus. I will do it, Father God. You know, it's in verse 11. God that was the son that he created the created soul and chose a soul because he saw her refusal to the obey God. God he saw her refuse to obey God. You are now we should not refuse to obey God. When he tell you, my daughter, when he tell you, my son, is this this is how you live your life as a Christian. Don't live your life like the worldly people. You have to listen. Is your God, is my God. Praise Master Jesus. Is your God, is my God. Son has said, I have a current out of God's command. It's what he told the, 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 the prophet, Prophet Samuel. He told Prophet Samuel, ah, uh, ah. Uh, you, what are you saying? I said, I did what Father God said. I have, I, I have carried out God's command. God command me to go and destroy the Amalekah. I have done all. I have done all in the verse 15. In the 15, verse 15, as he told them, the Lebanon, he said, we have destroyed everything else. We destroy. We done it. Everything else. He sent us. We go. Someone said to the Saul in verse 16. Someone said to Saul, stop in a moment. Let me tell you what Father God says. You disobey me. You rejected me. I will reject you. I have already, re I reject you already. Being a king. It is my prayer. God will not replace you. He will not replace somebody else or replace you. He will not get somebody else to replace me because of the disobedience. Father God wants to use you and I. That is why I saved you and I. But if you are disobeying him, it, Father God, he can take any, any, any body. He can take anybody to use somebody to do what is his own way. 
If you are sending you, my daughter, do this, my son, do this, you are not hearing. It can replace you. It can replace you. Somebody else will rent another person up instead of you. Even though you are still in that position where you are, but the anointing is not there anymore. When God replaces you, that anointing, that anointing has been, he will take that anointing out, even though you are doing the same thing you'd be doing before, is the evil spirit that is using you. You might be thinking, it's God that using me. I'm still doing the same thing. No, it's not God. Because the spirit of God has departed from you, the other spirit will come. That is why you and I, as a child of God, we must be careful. We must be, we cannot think that it's only we God can use. If we are proud, God can replace us somebody. He can replace it easily. When you are proud, God resists the, the proud people. He gave, as he said in his word, in the book of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Hebrews, he gave grace to the humble. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. We thank God for God. May the Lord give you and I the grace to honor Father God. In the verse, in the verse 18, in the verse 18, the Lord has sent you on a, a mission. He sent, God sent him on a mission and told him, go and completely destroy the sinners. And he came, he did his own thing. He did his own thing in the 19. In the, in the, in the 19. Why haven't they, when the Saul and the uh, 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 prophet Samuel was asking questions? Why have I, why have not you obeyed the Lord? Why? You see what Father God said you should go and do? Why have why have not you obeyed the Lord and you did your own thing? You did your own thing. You carry your own thing out in the verse 20. But I did obey. You see, he was still saying that he obeyed God. He obeyed God. He didn't even think, he didn't even say it in his mind that he disobeyed God. Because when you are not disobeying God, he, when he's correcting you and he, he's correcting me, we are not taking that correction because he has already forced to disobey God. And God said, he will what? He will give that person a reprobate mind. That person will be doing what he do evil. The person will not even know that he's doing evil. If God right now, as he did, he didn't even think that he did something wrong. He was still arguing, he was still telling the, the servant of the, the, the prophet of God, I, I, I did everything God sent me to do. I complete everything. He did, because, that because of that disobedience, Father God I gave, gave him a reprobate mind that he didn't even know the right and the left, and the right and left anymore. Many people are like that in the house of God. They are doing something that is not right. They are doing evil things, but they don't know. They don't even remember. They don't even see those things are evil anymore. Because God has given them a reprobate mind. Praise Master Jesus. God has given them a reprobate mind, but they don't see those things are evil anymore. They thought it's, it's good. What I'm doing now in the house of God is good. It is my prayer, God will not give you now a reprobate mind. It is my prayer for you and now to obey God. Obedience is the key. Praise Master Jesus. Obedience is the key. So, 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 so insist, so insist, I did, I did, I did what God said. I carried out all the mission that he has sent me. He sent me to go there. I did what he did. They said it I should do, and I carried out the mission. As he was arguing right now to, to argue with the, with, the, with the prophet of God, 
I did what he said that he sent me but for a mission. I, 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 I did everything. I did everything. I brought her back. Now, when he said everything finished, and God still exposed him. <laughs> God know how he's exposed, exposed somebody. If you are, if you are stubborn to do what Father God said you should do, at time he come in, we expose you. If he's correcting you, he's correcting me. Time to time correcting you, you don't take that correction. Time we come, we will expose you. Time we come, it will expose me. If I don't be, if I'm not buying to what is telling me, this is what you, this is wrong in your life. You have to change it. This is sin. No, I still continue doing what I'm doing. A time we come, we expose that person. It's God. So now he exposed, because Prophet Samuel, Prophet Prof, Samuel didn't know that he took the king. He brought the king along. He is the one that God exposed him for him to use his mouth to say, I brought the king along. And you said you obeyed. And you told the, the servant, and you told the prophet of God, you obeyed everything. But that king is not a woman being. You see, reprobate mind didn't want to remember what he's doing anymore. It's not a, it's not a woman being. All those sheep that you brought, those sheep, oxen, the, the best one that you brought, are they not the one the Father God said, go and destroy? But in his mind, he's not seeing anything wrong with it anymore. You know, most of us, we don't see when we are sinning. When somebody is telling you this is sin, you don't see anything wrong with it. You say, yeah, how can you tell me this is sin? There's nothing wrong with this. Praise Master Jesus. Somebody was there, King Saul. King Saul was there that he didn't even see what is wrong. The sin that he was saying of a disobedient. Praise Master Jesus. The sin that he was saying, the sin of disobedience, he didn't see it anymore. And praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. So somewhere in the verse, in, in the verse two, in the verse 20, 22, someone said, someone asked him a question. What is more pleasing? What is, you know, he asked him a question. Please, I want you to tell me. King, I want you to tell me. In the verse 20, 20, 20, 22, someone asked him, I want you to tell me, is it more? What is a more pleasing to, to the Lord? What is more pleasing to the Lord? I want you to tell me, King Saul, your burnt offerings and the sacrifice or your obedience to the voice of, of God. Which one is much for you to do? Which one is pleasing to God? Your disobedience to his voice or your obedience to his voice? Is your, uh, your burnt offerings? Your burnt offering, your sacrifice is the one that is more pleasing to God. God is the one that holds everything, that creates everything. If you want shaping, we have it. If you want anything that you tell you brought, if you want to have it, we have it abundantly. He's the creator. He just wants you and I to obey his voice. He just wants you and I to obey his voice, not disobey him. He is the God Almighty. He is the Savior of the whole world, Jesus. When he sent you mercy and error, let us go where it told us to go. When he said, my daughter, my daughter, son, don't do this. Let us do, don't do that thing that is disobedient to Almighty God. As a Samuel told you, listen, obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better that is, is better for you to obey God than that you don't bring offering, you don't bring a tithe to the house of God. 
you obey him and do the will of the Lord, then you disobey him. You are bringing bunch of free. You are bringing bunch of, bunch of what's it called, uh, tight to the house of God. Father God, does he accept it? All those things are useless in the house, in the, in the eye of God. What please God is for you and I to obey him. It's for you and I to obey him. To obey his words. My daughter, my son, do this for me. You will do it. As he said, the rebel, the 20, the 23, verse 23, rebellion is a sin. When you rebel in the way, you, when you rebel, when you are not rebel to the word of God, to God Almighty, is a sin. Praise Master Jesus. Is a sin. We cannot say, you and I cannot say, because no, let me do my own thing. It doesn't matter. I'm not rebelling against God. You are rebelling against God. I'm rebelling against God. When he said, this is what I want you to do. This is how I want you to live, my daughter, my son. Praise Master Jesus. You know, in a verse, in a, in a verse 23, in a verse 10, 23, he said, For a rebellion is a, as a, the sin of a witchcraft, and the, and, the, and the stubbornness is there as iniquity and an idolatry. In the, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected thee from a, being a king. Reject the word of the Lord. Are you rejecting the word of the Lord? Am I rejecting the word of the Lord? When he's telling you and I to do this, we said that we want to do it. Then you are rebelling against him. Then you are rejecting him. You are rejecting, when you reject his word, you reject him because him and, him and his word are one. You cannot separate it. I cannot separate it. You see what in the 24, in the 24, look what, 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 what Saul said. And the Saul said unto Samuel, I have a sin, for I have a translation, the commandment of the Lord, and the thy word, and the thy word, because I fear the people and they obey their voice. I fear because I fear the people. Then I obey their voice. Ask me, is it the people that sent you? Is it the people that called you to be the king? Is it the people that anoint you to be the king? You might be there. Maybe you are a servant of God, or you are not servant, but God have anointed you, and anoint you to do one thing and another in his house. Because of people, you said, I cannot. Because of people, what they will say, I cannot. I don't want to, people to say, ah, ah you are too, you are, you, are, you are too doing this, a holy, 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 uh, sin, righteous person, you, you are sin, conscious person. I don't want it. No, 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 no. Let me just uh, uh -uh, let me follow. Let me follow the uh, other people, other Christians. But you are, you and I must be different. He has called you and I to be different. Praise Master Jesus. To be different. Hallelujah. I was afraid of uh, the people, the people, and I did what uh, they uh, demand. What the people demand is what he did. It's not what God's commanding. What the people demand is what he did. And he still say he did the will of God. He still say, I've done, I've carried out the mission. Father God sent me. Praise Master Jesus. You know, in the verse in the, in the, in the, in the verse thirty, the book of Samuel, fifteen, the book of Samuel fifteen, chapter fifteen, verse thirty. You know what it says there for Samuel, for Samuel to honor him before who? Before the elders. <laughs> you know, most of us, even though we are well in sin, we still want God to honor us. Even though we are disobeying God, we still want God to honor us. We still want God to bless us. He disobeyed God. He rebelled against God. And he still said that someone to honor, honor me 
in the sight of the people, of the elders. So that exactly what, what happened, he feared the elders, he feared the people. That is what he said. He still wants the praise from the people to present to clap for him. You are the best king. We have, you are the best king. He still want people to see he is the charge. He's the charge of everything. Honor me. Come and honor me. You didn't honor God that sent you an error, but you want the servant of God, the prophet of God to come and do something for you so that you, the people will honor you, that you will honor. As it says here, please let us turn. It's verse 13. The book of uh, First Samuel, Chapter 15, verse 30 said, Then a hine said, I have a sin, yet honor me now. Command. <laughs> he was commanding the, the, the prophet of God. He was commanding because he's the king, not pride. The pride, the ego was too much. The ego was too much. Most of the, the, the most of the servants of God are this kind of thing. That the ego of them, the pride is too much. That they don't want to humble. They don't want to no, 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 no. Everybody must call me G O. This one, this one, the name, the title, this or that title. Now, when you call them a pastor, you 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 offend them. Oh my God. So he said now in the verse 30, he said, then the human said, I have a sin, yet I honor me now. I pray thee before the elders of my people, before the elders. But you, you have forgotten you have disobeyed God. You want other people to honor you. And before Israel, and then I turn again with me that I, I may worship the Lord thy God, not his own God. You can see here. Honor me so that I can what worship the that I can worship, worship the Lord thy God, Samuel's God, not his God. Honor me be, before the people, be, because of the elders. And now I want to worship your God. Somewhere your God I want to worship. Not my God, your God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Please, I would like us to turn to the book of, uh, praise Master Jesus. Let us turn to the book of uh, Genesis chapter 2. Hallelujah. The book of Genesis Chapter 2, verse 15 to 17. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 15. To 17. And the Lord said, uh, sorry, and the Lord God that took uh, the man and uh, put him into the garden of uh, uh, Eden to uh, dress it and uh, to uh, keep it. Verse 16. And uh, the Lord said, uh, uh, sorry, and uh, the Lord uh, and the Lord God uh, commanded the man, saying, Of uh, every tree of uh, the garden, thou mayest uh, freely eat. But of the tree, of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest, thereof thou shalt surely die. Praise Master Jesus. Thou shalt surely die. Did the God and the, did, did, did the, praise Master Jesus. As far as God says there, Thou shalt surely die. In chapter 3, Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. We are still reading. Genesis 3, verse 1 to 4. 
Now the serpent was a more less subtle than the, any beast of the feed which the Lord of God has made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, has God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But uh, of, uh, the of uh, the fruit of uh, the tree, which is uh, in uh, the midst of uh, the garden, God, God has uh, said, ye shall not uh, eat of it, neither shall uh, ye uh, torture it, lest ye uh, die for. And the serpent said unto uh, the woman, ye shall not surely die. Praise Master Jesus. You see the disobedient. It started from Adam and Eve. Ye shall surely not die. Because of that lie, the enemy lied to the woman. The woman now disobeyed God. And the husband followed her, her to disobey God. You and I can see the, the, the result, what it cost to you and I. I said, Descendant of uh, Adam. You see what disobedience can cause? When you and I don't obey God, praise Master Jesus. Don't eat is don't eat. So now you take, you said now you are the God, you want to be like God. As the serpent lied to you, you will be like God. And she obeyed. What happened? The relationship with him, with him, them, and God was cut off. Separation was there. Formerly, there was no separation in the evening. Father God, we come and discuss with them. My son, my daughter, what have you people done today? What have you done today? I want to know. They will sit, they will talk as you, as a parents uh, sit with their children, oh, come back from school. You start asking them, what, uh, what's, uh, what a subject have you had today? What's your whole work today? You know, you discuss with them. You play with your children. But that relationship was gone. But they were still alive. But spiritually, they were dead. When Father God said, if you eat it, you will die. Not physically, but spiritually, they were dead. They were separated. I thank God for Jesus. That came and, re and, re and reconciled us back to God. We thank God for the blood of Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. So disobedient. Oh, Almighty God, don't say you are bringing things in the house of God because you are doing this one thing and another in the house of God. Because of that, even though I disobey, it doesn't matter how by favor. You cannot buy favor from God. He's the one, he's, he's the God of favor. Praise Master Jesus. He will give to you when you obey him, when I obey him. Please, as Father God said in His, uh, as Father God said in His Word, let us turn to the book of let us turn to the book of uh, Deuteronomy. Praise Master Jesus. The book of Deuteronomy twenty, the book of Deuteronomy seven, twenty five to twenty six. The book of Deuteronomy seven. I read in Jesus' name. The book of De uh, chap uh, the book of Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse twenty five. 26. I read in Jesus' name. Then uh, the, the graphic image, uh, the graphic images of uh, the uh, gods uh, shall uh, be uh, born uh, with uh, fire. Thou shalt uh, not uh, desire the silver and uh, all gold uh, that is on uh, them, nor uh, take uh, it upon uh, you, lest uh, thou be uh, snared uh, therein. For it is uh, an abomination uh, to the, the Lord thy God. Neither shall uh, thou uh, bring uh, an uh, abomination into thy house, lest uh, thou be uh, a cause, uh, a, co a, a cause uh, thing uh, like uh, it. But uh, thou shalt uh, utterly detest uh, them, and, uh, sorry, detest uh, it. And uh, thou shalt uh, sh thou shalt uh, utterly abhor uh, it, for it is a cost thing. Praise Master Jesus. Maybe you haven't 
heard this one, this, this chapter, you and this is a verse you haven't read it before. Talking about the gold and silver. For you and I, as a, as a child of God, he said he placed cause on gold and silver. You and I, we should not put it in our, in our body. But if you are using it, you using it to decorate yourself, cause, cause thing. You disobey God. You said it doesn't matter. You put in those gold and silver, decorate yourself with those powder, those beads. You said it doesn't matter. It matters. You are a disobedient child. You and I must listen to him. As he says, as he, as he said the, the word of the Lord, he said, don't even bring it to your heart. Detest them. The God and Savior. Detest them. He's called. I have placed a cause for them. Don't, don't even put it. Don't bring it to a place of to put it on your body. The enemy will lie to you. Your body said gold is so expensive. Those gold, those silver, so expensive. How can you throw them out? How can I? Father God, that means you obey your flesh. Mother to obey your God. Say, don't put it on your body. Don't put it on your body. Don't bring it to your house, it says. In the book, of, we are seeing the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 20, 22, verse, uh, verse 5. Deuteronomy 22, verse Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. He's talking about the women. We women, how do we, we, we what to put? He said in the, the word of the Lord, said, the, the woman shall not wear that which and pertain unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's and a garment. For all that do so, uh, abomination unto the Lord thy God. That is it, uh, abomination. As Father God said, it's an abomination. It's an abomination. You cannot change it. If you are a man, now you are dressing like a woman. <laughs> if you, are, you are an abomination to God. You are a woman, you dress it like a man. You are, abomin you are an abomination to God. That is the word of the Lord. Nami, Nami said it. So you and I must obey God. We must dress as a woman. As a woman, we must dress as a woman. As a man, you must dress as a man. No, no, as I put in word, I know this is man, the man uh, dress. I dress, it doesn't matter. It matters. You are an abomination to God. That is the word of God. It's not me that wrote, it's not me that wrote it. This is written by the help of the Holy Spirit. And it inspired the children of God to write it. Praise Master Jesus. I said, who my son God said, dress mothers in the book of the first, first Timothy. Let us turn there. First Timothy chapter two. First Timothy chapter two. Hallelujah. May the Lord give you and I the grace to listen to obey God. Obedience is the key. I read in Jesus' name. The book of 1 Timoth Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In a like manner also, that the women adorn themselves in a modest apparel. With a, with a shame, with a shamefulness and a sobriety. Not uh, with a uh, broad dead uh, hair or gold or pearls or costly array. The word of the Lord told you and I, this is New Testament. As a woman, how you and I should dress. As a woman, how you and I should dress. We should dress modestly with modest apparel. Not half naked. Not that the one you, you, you dress, your decote is out, your breast, half of your breast is pushing out, it's out. You are wearing the, 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 the like, a, you know, this thing, this thing, and the, the, the what's it called? Your armpit are open. You dress, you don't dress. And then some of us, we are coming to the house of God, we still dress like that. You are going to see the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. You dress, you dress, you 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 dress, you dress, you 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 dress, you dress anyhow. You come into the house of God. You're supposed to dress. You are going to see the King. 
God is the King of Kings, the Lord of Laws. Praise Master Jesus. You come into the house of God, you put on the, the, the tight the, the tight fitting dress that show all your figure. And now the men they are not concentrating in the in the in the worship anymore. They all their mind is in you. Now you are distracting the people. You are distracting the men, even not just only the men, you are distracting the women. Many women that have their husband there, they are not comfortable anymore. They are thinking of that why something else. Praise Master Jesus. Father God said we should dress modesty. I say, daughter of God, daughter of Zion, dress modesty, and God will reward you. And when you obey God, he will reward you. You shouldn't uh, think what people will say. They will call me names. They will say, I'm an old, old woman. I'm an old school. I'm a this. I'm a this. Let them see. Earthly things will pass away. Because there is eternity waiting for you and I. One day we will enter that eternity. You like it or not. I like it or not. We must, we, that eternity waiting for us to enter. If the rapture and the happen before God will call us. So you and I must prepare for eternity right now. It's now you and I must obey God. When you and I finish here, Father God will welcome you and I into his kingdom. If you are disobedient children, do you think he will open door for you? Open that poly gate for you to say, come in my daughter, you faithful. No, no he will not. You will not even see the gates. It's not my portion. It's not, it's not my portion. It's not your portion. Not to even see the gate, not to enter that poly gate. It's not my portion. It's not your portion. My portion, my your portion is for you and I to obey God. On that day, Father God, we open that poly gate. Say, my daughter, my son, welcome. Welcome. Come back home. Welcome home. Come, enter into my glory. Take the crown. He, then he will pray, pray, press the crown of your head. What a joy. What a joy that would day, day will be for you and I. To receive that crown of that crown of glory that never fades. The word of the Lord in the book of Revelation, the, the crown never fades. Praise Master Jesus. Obedience is the one that will get you and I there. Obeying the word of God, obey his voice. Not all that voices. Many voices are speaking. The Lord has spoken, the Lord has said, the Lord has spoken. Which Lord? The God has spoken. Which God? There's many gods out there. There is many Christ out there. That is why Lord Jesus Christ says to you and all, many false prophets, many false Christ will come. If they're telling you it doesn't matter, dress anyhow, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're in the modern day now, you know? Modern church, you know? It will not be my portion and your portion. We see that they, uh, they are lying to you, you see? <laughs> it will not be your portion. It will not be my portion on that day. To say, had I know after I could have listened to the one that I'm calling them a sin conscious preacher. Sin conscious preacher. They are sin conscious, everything sin, everything sin, everything sin. Yes, sin is the one that will separate you and I from your God. Nothing else. That means you have to know about it. If they're not telling you, they're telling you about faith. They're telling you about the, the good head. You will have good head on this head. They're telling you all about patient, about uh, the no prosperity. Take your key. Take this. Uh, claim this. Uh, claim the house. Uh, claim the car. Claim the day. Fine is good. But they are not telling you. One day when you close your eye in there, you will spend eternity somewhere else. Where are you going to spend eternity? Where are you and I will spend eternity? It's here now you and I will have to make the decision. What you and I doing here right now is the, is, is the one that will determine where you and I will spend in eternity. We should not think. When you somebody tell you, oh, dress modest, ah, it doesn't matter. God sees my heart. Yeah, God sees your heart. God knows your heart. That is the, the, the thing that is in your heart. Is that, that is what is coming and reflecting that you dress half naked. That what is in your heart that makes you to do the evil that you are doing because the evil is in your heart. Please let us listen to Father God. 
He has a good thing for you. He wants to reward you. He wants to reward me. Let us listen. Please, uh, uh, th this is the part one of it. To my next week, we will continue. The, the, we still continue by the grace of God. I thank God for this message. Please think about it. This, this message is not coming to condemn you. It's not coming to condemn you. It's, com it's coming to correct you and I. For us, you and I, to prepare one day we will spend eternity. We will enter in our eternity. Is is 100% for you and I to enter heaven in eternity. There is hell fire in eternity. It will not be your portion. It will not be my portion. Let us obey our Father God. I see this message with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Any power that want to steal this word away from the children of God, I take authority over those power. I command those power to be paralyzed forever. I bound them and cast them back to the hair that they came from in Jesus. And I soak this message. I soak each and every one of you with the precious blood of the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you all. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. They say, there's a saying that said the word is enough for the wise, hallelujah. So we have heard the word of God and we heard the Bible verse that says, obedience is better than sacrifice. We are talking about obedience, total obedience in everything that we do, even what the one that we do in our house, even the one that we do in the presence of God. Because God hated those that obey his word because he himself will honor his word more than his name. So when he say anything, it's yes and amen. And everything that God say an abomination, we cannot purify it. We cannot sanctify it, but it's to destroy. That's why the word of God said to destroy. And everything that God said we should destroy is for is not for us to put ourselves in a position of God to say that, oh, maybe to select. There's no selection when it comes to God. God said that this one, he will destroy your soul. Then you have to hate it the way God hates it. You understand? The thing that we say, it doesn't matter. It matters to God. It matters to God. It matters a lot that is going to stand against us. Yes, we are doing the work of God. We are hearing the word of God. You hear that? Many people, they, they, they are so confused. They, they deceive themselves when they say that, ah, it's God that called me. Yes, God called you. He's the one that also can reject you the same way he anointed this king. And most of the, many people, they are rejected by God because of disobedience. They don't even know that they, are, they have been rejected because they are in the same position that they are, that God put them. When God said to King Saul to King Saul that he, he, has, uh, he sent someone to say that he regret of choosing him as a king, Saul was not there when God was already anointing David. He was not there. He was not there, but he was still king. We should be very careful. You are doing the same thing, but because of what you're continuously doing, what you are doing that is not the will of God is the one that can reject you. When it comes to obedience, we need to, to, to really fear God. You understand the spirit of fear. That is another giant, uh, giant that we need to destroy in our life. The fear, what people will say. I, I heard this word so many times, especially in we, children of God. If I do this, by the time people will hear it, by the time it's the people that put you there, it's the people that died for you, it's the people that are going to judge you. That's, what, that's exactly what you have to have in mind. Seeing people, seeing people. Oh, I was afraid of people, 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 people. This is the another barrier that we need to remove. We need to jump out of it. The word of God is the only word that we need to obey. It's the key of our salvation. It's not what people say. Take the right decision. You understand this? How many people made this mistake because of people? Because of people. If I do this, what will people say? If I do this, uh, people might interpret it. Uh, people might think. Less people think. Whether you like it or not, people will always think. Whether you like it or not, people always talk about you. You do good things today. Tomorrow's mom is saying the same people that you did good today, they still have to criticize you. They still have to point fingers on you. People are people. They will never become in the place of God. You understand? 
The people that today, they are your friend, tomorrow they'll be your greatest enemy. The people that are saying good things to you, encouraging you, tomorrow they'll be the one that will fight in you. If you have to please 10 people, if they, you are in the midst of 10 people, five they may be agree with you, and another five you fight you. Three, seven can agree with you, another three is enough to prostrate you. So you cannot please people, people are people. People, you cannot please them no matter what you do. No matter what you do, you cannot please people. Look at how our Lord Jesus will walk. He did miracle. He healed people. He gave them food. He did everything that he could. But when he was to choose which one to be crucified, all of them say, release the criminal. Crucify Jesus. Crucify Jesus. Those that was called, we're talking crucify Jesus, among them were uh, the people that was following our Lord Jesus. With the people that was eat the bread that our Lord Jesus multiplied. Some people, they are dead. Maybe our Lord Jesus did miracle in their children, healed their children from any sickness. Some of them, they was blind, they was able to see. But when it comes to the right decision, they turn against him. In the body of Christ, when you are, that's why the Bible says your own, your own salvation. Work out your own salvation. Because your friend can make you to miss it if you are not careful. Your child can make you to miss it if you are not careful. Your family can make you to miss it if you are not careful. Your own, your own, your own. Sometimes it is necessary for us to hate somebody and to obey God. Because when you have to take the right decision, many people will hate you. Many people will be offended. You understand. Many people will be offended because of the decision you are taking. But if it is the will of God, follow it. Don't care about other people. If I leave makeup in my office, in the street, how people will see me? Ah, everybody pass through this. Every, all of us, I can say in particular me, I carry that cross. The, the cross that I know, I pay that price. Yes, because nobody put me there. I needed to walk out there without anybody. Because I know that I want myself. By bleeding my skin, by doing all manner of things, and I needed to pay the consequences of humili humiliation, insult. You understand rejection. Some people say ah, they, they rejected me because I knew I needed to pass through that thing. I put myself there. You need to deny yourself, deny your own. You, when it comes to God, you just put yourself. You are nothing. You are nothing. You ask God to restore you from the way, the place that you. Was you make yourself to be rejected by God. Nobody pushed you. You have the choice to do the right thing. So he was most concentrated to please people rather than God that put him in that position. That's why even when he was rejected, the people that he was honoring, the people that he was pleasing, they was not able to stand by him. They were not uh, able to stand by him. Now, what is hindering you from choosing, the, from go, taking the right decision? Is it because people will see you around makeup, they will laugh at you? Is it because the people will say something that will make you feel bad? What is it hindering you that the word of God that you are hearing is not bringing transformation in you? You understand? Somebody, we know when you went to Sweden, a lady brought to almost a, a, a small, Hand suitcase, you understand? Full of jewelry, all manner of things, gold, silver, all those things. It was inside a box. Evangelist Christ told her, throw all this box if you want to see the glory of God. He said, no, I can't. If I tell you the money I put on it, if I tell you the money that I spend for this thing, ah, I cannot just throw it like that. No, 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 no. I cannot. So the price you think that you bought those things, is it higher than the price our Lord Jesus paid in the cross for you and I to be free from this thing that God is calling an abomination? And when it comes to the name of, of abomination, we cannot change that name because it was given by God himself. Anything that God called this abomination is for us to destroy it. You cannot sanctify something that God called an abomination. You cannot sanctify silver and gold because they are idols. You cannot sanctify idols. You can sanctify your heart. 
sanctify your heart, purify your mind, your conscience, your body with the blood of Jesus. But when it comes to those things that it, is, it make your soul, it will make your spirit to be rejected, you cannot sanctify it. May the Lord help us, our eyes to open. As the servant of God said, we are coming back next week. Please, Jesus is coming. Are we ready for that coming? That coming, the Bible describes it as a greater event. The thing that is going to happen from the beginning, even Noah did not experience it. Even the people in Sodom and Gomorrah they did not experience it. This one will be because it will be the last to close, to end. May you have it in mind, may not have it in mind. So we are going to pray for ourselves, God, to help us, to give us the grace. We need that grace. We keep on asking the grace, the grace. Now that the grace is available, let us use it at least to transform us. Not for us to use it for advantage. To be obedient to the word of God. To strive to enter. To resist, you understand? To strive to enter. That to resist God to give us the grace to obey no matter what. No matter what, to see our salvation most precious than any other thing in this world. So we are going to help. We will pray for ourselves. Father, Lord, give us the grace, O Lord Jesus, Father, to obey your word, to be the doer of your word, O Lord, to put your word in practice. The truth that we know shall not stand against us. The truth that you are, we are hearing, O Lord, Father, should not condemn us from that day. But the truth, of the, that truth, O Lord, Father, to bring transformation in our life, to change our ways of thinking, to change the, our heart, O Lord Jesus, Father, to turn our heart away from sin, that to not allow sin to have dominion over us. Disobedience not to have the middle of our hands. Any way that you have to we have disobedience to the word of God. Father, have mercy on us, O Lord, Father. Have mercy, O Lord, Father, for disobeying. Father, do not take away your Holy Spirit away from us, take your Holy Spirit away Restore it back to us, O Lord Jesus. Father, heal our heart, O Lord. Deliver us completely, O Lord. Bring us back, O Lord, Father, into your word. To be the doer of your word, O Lord, Father. To practice to transform our lives. To transform, O Lord, Father. Let the fruit of the Spirit, O Lord, Father, be manifest all over the grow all over the in out the inside our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your your light so shine in our lives to bring every darkness that is in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are going to pray for the servant of God for His grace, for the grace of God upon our life to accept to be used by the Holy Spirit to bring out this message. Without removing, you can see that it came freshly because this is the kind of message that some people will be selecting. Ah, if you do this, all the member will leave the ministry. We don't care about member. We don't care about. We care for their salvation, but we don't fear them in the way that we select this message because it's a so 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 feel bad if you preach this message. We are here. Your obedience is better than any sacrifice in the name of Jesus. So we are going to pray for her. Father Lord, we commit yourself unto Lord Father, whom you have used, Lord Father, for your glory. Father Lord. Jesus, Father, restore all of the virtue that left her all of her, restore all of her in seven fold in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, continue to use her all of her with power, with anointing all of her to deliver your message all of her. As you use her to be a blessing all of her for this message all of her, continue to bless her in return all of her, use her mightly all of her in this end time to win for souls for your glory. Father, Lord Jesus, Christ, Lord, Father, we pray all of her that the angel of God will come around her to deliver against every attack of the enemy. No weapon no fashion against her shall prosper. Let your divine protection of her protect her, protect her family. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Like I said, we are not here to offend anybody. If you're offended of the message, it's those spirits that is been offended. You need to let those spirits go. You need to allow the word of God to bring transformation. Your salvation is the one that is making us to come here every day. If we, it's not because we don't have things to do. We are working our salvation, but we're also obeying the word of God to come and deliver the message. Because some people, when they will hear the message like this, the next time they will not come again, they will go where they'll tell them, live your sinful life peacefully. But here, there's nothing like that. If you are offended because the message touched you, it's not because they are preaching to you. They are preaching to all of us. It's the message to bring transformation. You need to enter. You need to feel it for you to change. 
If you see that the message is for you, that means you are concerned. That means that that spirit is really working in you in that area. It's for you to feel free, to be delivered, to allow the word of God to bring transformation. If you run away, it's, your blood is not going to be in the hand of anybody. Anybody. You understand. How our Lord Jesus was telling them, telling them that you hypocrite. He was not insulting them. He was insulting the spirit that was in them. May the Lord help us to be safe, not to miss our salvation. Hallelujah. I'm going to welcome Evangelization for contribution. May the Lord bless you, ma'am. You are muted. Sorry. I say God bless you, Evangelist Richard. Bless you, Sister Marie, Evangelist Marie, for giving the opportunity. We thank God for this message. As you said, we don't have no apology for the message. We take it as it comes. In the name of Jesus, it's for it to clean us. Apostle Paul said he's happy that uh, those that will hear what he said are angry, but he's not happy because they are angry, but he is happy because their anger will lead them into repentance. So if the message hurts you, you know that you need repentance. You need to go for repentance. Amen. We are now going to go for our contribution. We are talking here about our tithe, our offering. Amen. Our tithe, our offering. Let us contribute for the glory of God. It's another part of obedience. Obedient to the word of God. As I'll be singing this song, we'll be preparing our tithe. We'll be preparing our offering. Our tithe is a 10% of your profit and your offering is as God will lay in your hand to give. Amen. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for God. Oh, what a marvelous God. The marvelous is here to do marvelous things again. Hey, what a marvelous God, what a faithful redeemer. He has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous is here to do marvelous things again. The thing our father could not do, but our mother could not do, those are the things he has done for us. He's the unchangeable God, the reliable King. He will do it again and again. Hallelujah. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous He's here to do marvelous things. Again, Father, unto you be all the glory. Unto you, Father, be all the honor. Unto you, ancients of the be all the glory and adoration forevermore. Father, unto you be all the glory. Be all the honor. Be all the glory. And adoration for Hallelujah. Lift up your tired, your offering as we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the miracle of having the tithe, of having offering to put into your basket. Father, we present it before you. We pray, oh Lord, that may you multiply it. Let the power of multiplication fall on it, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, as you are blessing your children, Father, as you are doing the work of your hearts with it, oh Lord, Father, remember and bless your children in the name of Jesus. Even those that have nothing to have to give today, Father, bless them, oh Lord, and make them partaker of this wonderful blessing in the time, in the future, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We we'll cover our offering and tight with the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Redeemer, in Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. I will go through our contribution. I'm sorry. Our announcement. Sorry. Our announcement for this week is our normal announcement. There's no change until the first the first week of the month. So Monday, 
to Mondays, twice a month, we have our Bible study and also we have Adventure Summer Time, which is at 8 p.m. London time on Mondays. And you also have Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, we have our session of prayer without ceasing at 1 p.m. London time. You are welcome to join us to pray with us. And then Tuesday and Thursday, we have midnight prayer. Remember, the Bible says we should not sleep like others. The time are getting tough now. Now our salvation is near than where we started. So come and keep continue to pray, be in the presence of God because the enemy is introducing evil every day. So we also have our um, general night vigil, 11 p.m. London time on Fridays. And we have children's program on Monday, I'm sorry, on Saturday, at eight, uh, 6 p.m. London time. Bring your children along. They too, then we need to return them when we took we took them from. We took them from heaven. We need to return them to heaven by teaching them the word of God so that they can learn how to fear God. Hallelujah. Instead of fearing man, as we heard the message of today. And we also have our um, the first week of the month, three day, we have our three-day fasting to dedicate the month in the hand of God to pray because the enemy, the new months, they have the new challenge, they have the new trial, they have so many things. And we have we come here to pray for three days prayer and fasting. You can also join the first week of the month. And we have first Sunday of the month, we have Holy Communion. Remember the Bible says we should do it in remembrance of him. When you remember what our Lord Jesus went through in that cross, you think twice before you start lying. You think twice. He will make you to be perfect. He will make you to strive to enter. You understand. So come along to have communion with us. Although we already have communion every day, but we do this, we, we do the the we practice it like uh, physically, like how do you call it? Symbolize it by doing the bread and and um, the, the juice that represent the blood of Jesus. But Communion is every day. As you are hearing the word of God, you remember the Bible said we should not eat, we, we should not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds in the house of God is communion. We are communion with God. So let us fear God so that the word that we are hearing today will not condemn us tomorrow. Hallelujah. So, and Sundays, we have our Sunday service, which is 4.30 p.m. London time. And the Lord bless you. This is our announcement. I'm going to welcome the woman of God for the tradition. May the Lord bless you, Mami Fisher, over to praise master jesus let us pray oh heavenly father the king of glory we thank you we give you all the glory of the honor and the praise we thank you for this word almighty oh god but as we have heard your word oh lord give us the grace to be obedient to your word almighty oh god give us the grace to put your word in practice in the name of your father and i guide our mind oh lord guide us oh lord father for your glory lord and i bless this week for us in the name of jesus my, my father any of your son any of your daughter that are looking for job this week oh my god that are looking for job father bless them with job in the name of jesus and they Needy, provide for them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, my Father, and let your will be done in our lives and give us the grace to love you more, to know you more, in the name of Jesus. Now, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We see the service should, with your precious blood of just each and every one of, of us. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ, and each and every one of us, our family, in the name of Jesus. Now, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Eva. May the grace of our Lord May Jesus Christ, the, of our Lord the, Jesus Christ Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy of the Lord all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Second silence. Amen. God bless you all.